Hey everyone, it's Mary Sellers, Challenge America Specialist with the National Endowment for the Arts. I'm here to walk you through the part one uh, step for your application for the Challenge America program. So I'm just going to share my screen really quickly with you to show you um, exactly how to manage our website, how to navigate it, how to find the things you need in order to submit that application. So first we're going to kind of dive right in and we're going to go to arts.gov. This is our, our website. And at the top right, you'll see a menu, a little hamburger, you click on that. And then you'll go over to grants and you'll click on that. And here is where you'll find all of the grants that we offer um, throughout the year. And you'll see there's a really nice welcome message. It's great, you can kind of scroll past it. And then down here, you'll see our main grant programs um, for our organizations. You'll click on Challenge America. And right here, this page is one you'll want to bookmark. This is your, these are your guidelines. Um, these will take you through a description of the program to whether you're eligible, to how to apply, and how to contact us. So it's really important that you have access to this um, section and you'll see that it's divided up into tabs to hopefully make it a little bit more manageable. So before you move forward and decide you definitely want to apply, we suggest looking first at the program description so the program description right here talks about the Challenge America program. And I'll point out that um, the Challenge America program offers support to primarily small organizations for, art, for projects in all artistic disciplines that extend the reach of the arts to populations that are underserved. So if this describes your project and your organization, great, that's wonderful, then you're probably in the right place. Um, if it doesn't quite describe you, then you may be better off applying to the Grants for Arts projects or another uh, grant category. And our staff can help you figure that out if you have questions about it. You also want to look at the eligibility. This has changed from years past, um, but it talks about how you want to be a nonprofit tax exempt organization. That hasn't changed, uh, but this section has changed. And so you'll want to review this to just make sure that you haven't received a grant in our Grants for Arts projects, research, or Our Town grant program in the past three years. If you have received a grant, then you would not be eligible to apply. Um, if you have received a grant through Challenge America or Arts Engagement in American Communities, then you um, may, may be eligible to apply. So this is something that you'll want to make sure you read over and are comfortable with before you move forward. So um, once you go over that, you feel good about it, then the next step is really to go to the how to apply. How do I submit an application? So you'll see right here, we have two, two main parts that you have to submit in order to fit, submit a full application. Um, so the first one is part one, submit to grants.gov. And this is really the primary focus of this video. Um, so we're gonna go over that quickly today. So you'll see under part one, there's five steps, each with a little plus sign next to it that expands the, the steps in more detail. So it's really helpful. So first you'll need to register with grants.gov and sam.gov if you don't have registrations already or re, uh, register, make sure that your accounts are up to date. Um, before that, you need to make sure you have a DUNS number, um, which is an identifier number that's used in the um, SAM.gov system. So I'll show you that their main website really quickly. So you'll go here, DUNS and Brad, Dun and Bradstreet, and you'll, you'll request a DUNS number that you'll need for the SAM.gov um, access to their account. So, and I'll show you right here, we have, this is the SAM.gov, this is their landing page, just to give you a little bit of familiar, familiarity. Um, you'll see you can create a user, you can register your entity, so you can get all those things done through SAM.gov. And we encourage organizations, especially with SAM.gov, to make sure that you do this early. Um, there are several issues that organizations encounter when registering or renewing their SAMDACUB account. So it's really important you do this step super early in the process because sometimes it can take weeks to resolve. Um, and we have found that, uh, you know, a quick phone call to their help desk 
is usually the quickest way to resolve an issue. However, it can take multiple phone calls. So you wanna make sure that you have plenty of time to get that done. So once you have your SAM.gov registration complete, you know, you can, you can move on to your grants.gov. That's the second system that you'll need access to in order to submit an application. So you'll see um, in step two, down here on our website, go to grant opportunity package. And this is the link where you will go to submit the first form of part one. And this is where you will be filling out that form and expressing your interest in submitting a full application. The form is called an SF424. Um, you don't really need to know that name, but just in case you see it and you're, so you're familiar with it. So you can go fill out that form right now. It's very quick, it's easy. If you have a grants.gov and SAM.gov registration all set up, it's three pages that includes your organization and staff contact information. You don't even need to know your project title or project description at all. Um, we don't ask for that yet. All we need to know is that you are verified to apply for a federal grant. Um, and when you go to this link uh, right here, you'll see you have the funding opportunity number next to it. You will wanna have the step three open while you do that. So you click on step three, scroll down a little, you'll see that we have made it as easy as possible to fill out this form and put the correct information in. Um, you'll see some of it's pre-populated, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, a lot of it is just your contact information for your organization. And you'll see that we don't ask for the project title or project description. Um, so all of this information is a something you can quickly fill out. Then you just have to agree to the compliance section and you sign it and you date it and you submit it. And um, you'll see step four is where you submit your application to grants.gov. And so once you filled out the form, you'll click submit, you'll click sign and submit actually. And, um, and you'll, once it's, it looks like it's submitted, you'll wanna verify that you received a confirmation email um, should be an automated email from grants.gov. Um, it includes a grants.gov tracking number. And uh, this is really important for part two of the application process. So make sure you save this email. And we also suggest you taking a screenshot of your submission so that you can refer back to it um, or as just a reference as a backup in case we don't get it for some crazy reason. It doesn't happen very often, but it's always good to have just another backup to show. And uh, if you don't submit this step properly, you unfortunately won't be able to move on to submit the full application. So you really need to make sure this is all taken care of and good to go. And then you'll see the last step, um, which is a really just a nice to have. Um, this is how you can track your application in grants.gov. Um, so that's just a nice to have so you can, you can verify that it's submitted and where it is in the process. So we went over a lot today, um, but a few key things to remember. Um, first of all, all of these systems are free for you to use. So make sure that, um, that they are free for you. And uh, all of them also have really helpful staff that know their platforms super well and should be able to assist you in any issue you might be running into. The NEA staff, we don't have access to the back ends of these systems. So if questions come up, we encourage you to call grants.gov or sam.gov directly. Um, I'll scroll back up, but we, in step one, you'll, you should have seen that we have uh, both email and phone numbers for each. And so you can, you can see that right on our website, um, that access is there for you to take advantage of. And of course, if, we, if there's anything that we can do to help, please don't hesitate to reach out and give us a call. Our email is challengeamerica at arts.gov. And our phone number is 202-682-5700. And we'd be happy to help with your submission if, if in any way we can. So um, thanks for watching and good luck with your submission.